Hey everybody, this is Pachella and Pippin from ECF Forums, and I would like to give you a short review of my Red Sky Mod Destroyer 2. And here it is. Pippin likes it. So this is the Destroyer 2, the second incarnation of the Destroyer. This model is Eucalyptus and Cedar. And obviously this is a tank mod. There's a, there's a whole bunch of tanks that will fit this mod. Uh, not very many that won't. It will also fit, this is my John Boy Lava Tank, which is a standard cardo tank. It will also fit some of the new uh, rebuildable atomizer tank systems, so that's an option for you. And actually Brian sells uh, one of those on his site, which looks really sharp on these. It's all stainless steel. I forget what it's called, but... Uh, it's pretty easy to find on redsidemods.com. Uh, so, about this mod. Uh, size of this mod is 5 inches tall, uh, an inch in depth, and 2 inches across. And it is variable voltage. And, cool thing about this mod. It's variable voltage, and you can switch it switch here you can either switch the switch to off or to 3.7 mode which means you can uh, just put an 18650 in here and just have it be a standard 3.7 mod as well as variable voltage which is handy sometimes you want the longer battery battery life of the 18650 or you just want a 3.7 vape um, so that's pretty cool also this little open window here is nice because if your liquid is down below the line of the mod you can kind of check and see how low you are. And, another and, I love that he put this little panel over the guts of the mod. It just looks really, really nice and clean in here. Okay, voltage. The mod comes with the mod itself, and this adorable little screwdriver, and four magnets. So if you have a battery that's not quite long enough, you can throw a couple of these magnets on and vape away. And in order to switch voltages, my birds love my mods. In order to switch voltages, there's a little screw at the bottom of this, and you use your tiny little screwdriver and adjust the voltage. Easy. Uh, oh, uh, Captain Brian has also started offering custom, <laughs> what are you doing? Custom uh, mods on his site again. So you can go on the site and you can pick your body wood and the panel wood and your hardware, which I think there's black uh, brushed chrome and stainless steel, which is the stainless steel. And uh, this is the rounded. You can also pick a pistol grip edge, or I can't remember the name of the other edge, but it's uh, it's like ridges. It's very nice looking. You can see pictures of it on the website. Um, so there's three options for that, and they're all really nice looking. I apologize for the screaming birds. Um, they're all really nice looking. Oh, another thing, uh, you've got your front panel that comes off, and he's also started doing a back panel, matching back panel which looks really nice. It doesn't move or come off, but it looks really nice. Um, got a bird climbing on my head. That was it for Pippin. Uh, what else? Uh, if you have an original destroyer, here's a size comparison. I love my original destroyer. I love my destroyer too, even more. I just think it's a little more elegant. It's a little taller and a little thinner, so it, it, and the rounded edges too. I, I prefer the rounded edges. I love this mod, but I love this one more. Uh, so, uh, that's it really. I guess, I tell you, he's also offering the um, Cutlass too, I think, which is the um, bottom fed version. It's, this is the original version. Uh, but the new version looks more like this 
in shape, but it's got the cutout, obviously, for your bottle, for your bottom feeding. And it's got the 5 connector rather than a, a place for a tank. Uh, and he also has the new version of the Cruiser, which is your standard 3.7 uh, 18650 battery mod. And the new Cruiser is really pretty. I need to get one of those. So, yeah. He uses really awesome exotic woods. He's an amazing craft, craftsman. He's an artist. He, I mean, these are beautiful and clean, and I mean, there's not a flaw to be found on this thing. They're just really well made. If, you, if you're looking for a wood mod and you want something that's well made and beautiful that's going to last, I would definitely check out uh, Brian's work. He's awesome. Uh, not only with customer service, he's awesome to deal with. He's an he has an awesome warranty, and he's just a really good person to deal with. He won't leave you hanging. or He's just great customer service. Um, and, obviously, I'm a fan. And I need to get more. In addition to the several models, he also is doing some uh, caddies now, which are really nice. I don't have one to show you, unfortunately. I need to get one or two. <laughs> but, um... They're really nice. They have like two tiers, and they he makes them. He can custom make them for whatever size mod you have. I think you can send him the measurements, and he can custom make a caddy for you. They're really nice. Uh, check those out on the website as well. So that's it. That's my review of the Destroyer Two. I love it. I think that if you're looking for quality mod, that's really beautiful and feels nice in your hand and vapes well. Get a Red Sky Mod. I highly recommend them. I love them. Thanks a lot.